Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm your humble host, Picasso. Thanks for joining in. Today, guys, we're going to be looking at an Android launcher. Now, I have reviewed this launcher in the past, but since the full version um, has come out, we're going to go ahead and take a relook at it and see what's changed and see what we can do now that we couldn't before. Okay, so right off the bat, you know, very straightforward. Remember, we did have the applications down here on the lower half, and we had the time up here where we were able to swipe to the left and you would get the list of folders which would the list of folders which contains the applications down here okay so straight straightforward we have the time we have the date okay scrolling to the left we have the wallpaper we have um, okay icon pack support and the UX uh, settings so let's take a look and see um, you know no major differences so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to go ahead because I remember this and I'm going to go ahead and make a folder okay so basically we're going to go ahead and tap this uh, the uh, plus sign or the addition sign we're going to name it I'm going to name it home uh, you can choose an icon okay the icon is going to show up uh, in the screen at the top of the screen there let's see if I can find a little a little house icon you guys know me when I'm doing something I like to go through it thoroughly you know um, especially if I don't know uh, completely about it then uh, you know you're gonna know with me here's a little house over here I'll go ahead and tap that so now that's going to be the icon um, okay so you can choose the background image for the top panel Okay, for like the uh, banner area. So color or image, I'm gonna go for image, of course. Um, let's go with just something simple. I'm gonna go with that. And then you can choose the accent color, which I'm just gonna make it go blue. Hit okay. You can add the apps. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a couple of apps right now, just to show you guys. Just select a few. Uh, hide apps which are already contained in another folder. That's good um, It's not going to hide all the apps because they're in the all folder. That's how, that's the app drawer Okay, and we did that we did that named it. Let's go ahead and hit save and here it is So if I tap on it, this is the folder I just created now it might look ugly But that's not just how it is one thing I do remember you are able to hold on to that and then you can rearrange it so hitting home Basically, the first page, um, let's see, it should be, here we go, it should be a home, like that. Okay, I remember what it is. Um, all is set to default page. That's what it's set to. But we can change that in the settings, okay? And to move from folder to folder, it's a vertical swipe. Now, because I placed it in front of all, that's why I have to swipe up, because it's above all. Okay. One thing to note is that you are able to freely rearrange the icons. Okay, you can freely move them about and put them wherever you want to go. Now, because this is basically a folder, you cannot put an icon on top of another icon that's not going to create a folder. Okay, let's take a look at the options we have. We have remove, oops, we have remove uninstall, okay. Remove, uninstall, info, and edit. Let's go to edit. And with edit, we can, okay, good. So you can change the icon if you'd like. You can select from icon pack, select icon. And I have a few icons in here, a few icon packs. And you can just select something like that. Hit save. And where is it? Here it is. There we go. Very nice. And you can just simply remove, remove remove so very nice oh, i think i selected it yes i did so we can go ahead and remove now one thing that i was actually excited for is uh widget support so i am going to take a look at that let's see if i hold down here we go widget shortcut app or remove the page let's find a nice little widget um let's go with bible verse of the day an error occurred okay don't know why you are able to resize your widget okay but I think it's gonna be basically like you know if the widget is a 4x4 or 2x2 two two, like it's gonna be stuck that way let's go ahead and try another widget let's try play music 
Where is that? Um, so you could do Zuper, which that'd be nice. I'm actually gonna mix KLWP with this. Probably gonna. Here we go. Google Play Music. Now, okay. So as you see, can't resize. So it's not everything that you can resize. Okay. But um, let's see, is that gonna play? Is it playing? It's gonna play. Do I have to open it? Okay, it wasn't even open. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, so we have widget support. You can move icons freely, which is always a good thing. And I mean, I definitely appreciate that. That's a big bonus in my book. That's very awesome. I can use make my super widgets, throw them on here, and still have this awesome, unique uh, uh, way of doing things like that. Pretty cool. Very awesome. Okay, of course, you have wallpapers. You can select the icon packs. Let's go ahead and jump into the settings. Okay, so initially, right off the bat, you can hide apps. You can change the grid size. Okay, I'm gonna go, the most is five, so I'm gonna go five, 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 you know, the tightest, and let's just see how, um, yeah, how it uh, sets up. You can change the size, let's go 48. You can show the labels, you can hide the labels. I'm gonna do that. You can enable notification badges. Cool. hide apps from the all folder so once they are in the folder they won't show up in the all folder which is very good you don't need you know applications duplicating if you're going through the app drawer and you know it's in a folder so very cool organization skills on deck proper show app background nope uh, disable wallpaper scrolling if you'd like app page transition okay go to back flip horizontal go to front scale stack tablet zoom zoom and in individual individual not sure what that is I'm gonna go with depth don't know what that is I'm just gonna go with it now let's jump over to the uh, action panel now you have the floating quick app it's none I'm going to set it to camera sure uh, floating quick quick app icon okay I just set it to camera so let's find a camera there should be a camera very close there we go there's one uh, switch click action switch search to simple click Not sure what that is. Okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be straight with you I don't know what that is. I'm gonna leave that alone transparent status bar always a nice thing when showing the status bar um, Show a.m. And p.m. Only in the 12-hour format center clock So you can make the clock. I'm assuming it goes to the left. It was center before so let's check it out uh, fonts Okay now in your file browser, your file manager, if you have one installed, there might be a folder having something to do with uh, Home UX, and maybe you might be able to put fonts into that folder so you can have your own custom fonts. And if not, Javite, if you guys happen to watch this review, maybe that's something to keep in mind for a future update so we can add in our own clock fonts. Um, just, just a suggestion, that's all. Make it italic. You can change the size. I'm going to put it to medium. And here we go where it says default home folder. So when you press the home button, that's where it's going to go to whichever folder you select. I'm going to select it to go to home. Okay, and then sliding over to home X, you have the backup, restore, reset the app. Uh, it tells you the version, of course, version code, and information about Dravite. Okay, and uh, let's go back and let's take a look. Let's hit home. Let's hit the home button. Here we go. Okay, looking very, very sharp. I like that. I like how it looks. I like that a lot. I like that. Let's zoom down a little bit more. So, so not having the time center is not a bad idea, in my opinion, anyways. Okay, uh, you can, of course, stretch out the icons, make them small, remove the label. Okay, as you see, I did here. And uh, also something to note is that you can just simply drag an icon to another page, okay? And it becomes another page within this folder. So it's not the all, if you, if you notice. It's just another page within that folder. So you can have something here. You can swipe over and have a widget here still in the same home folder, if you notice. Home hasn't changed. That's pretty cool. I really like that. And you can make more and more pages just to be in that um let's let's test it out right now actually there we let's huh what's that wait a minute oh okay so wait a minute did i just do okay let's it's not gonna work now because i already have that let's get rid of that 
Okay, let's hold this. Let's bring this over here again. Now, did it just make an extra page or is it there? One, two, okay. So maybe it's a two page limit, I'm not sure. Can it go over? No? One, two, okay. Looks like it might be a two page limit. I'm not sure, maybe I had two uh, Apple Music icons. But anyways, you guys see that, that's awesome. I like that, I really do. And here's the all, and of course, uh, that's why you're scrolling uh, um, horizontally because you're still within the all folder which is the app drawer of course um, I wish there was a way to you know make the app drawer not a thing but that's perfectly fine now uh, something they had in the previous versions is that you could bring an application somewhere up here and have it on a quick panel somewhat so I'm gonna hold this down see if I bring it up here is it gonna go anywhere no nope. Oh, you can add the quick app. Okay, so I wasn't sure if that was still in or not. Let's put the camera, let's see, we go. there we go. So there's the camera as a quick app. Let's see if we can do this again. Um, this time let's just pick something. Where did the clock go? Where did the clock go? Oh, I picked the arrow, I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, let's bring that, let's edit. Let's pick the clock, there it is. Okay, so now I thought it might've had some order, but I guess, Anywhere you put it, yeah, it's just gonna go there. Now, I'm sure it's not gonna go over the camera icon here. So yeah, so I'm guessing one, two, three, four, five, six, should be able to add maybe six uh, quick icons. Let's just try again, or is it, okay, so I counted way off, uh, it's five. So you can still have that as well. I'm gonna be playing around with it. I do have an idea in my head on some things that possibly could be done with it. So stay tuned. You guys know me already, but I like it. It's it's pretty awesome. So yeah, the getting the if you already have the free version, getting the pro version is definitely worth checking out. Okay guys, links will be in the description to the application, okay, on the Play Store. And uh, again, you can get the free version, check it out. You won't have most of these uh, pro, uh, 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 pro perks. You won't have most of the pro perks, but or the, you won't have most, uh, you won't have any of the pro features that comes with that pro version, of course. But it is something to check out, see if you like the launcher or not. All right, guys, I'm your humble host, Picasso. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, I'm out.